Yeah, we're looking forward to playing in this tournament. I mean, we're going to get three really good games out of it. Uh, you know, with the rematch with Iona, uh, you know, I'm not really looking forward to playing Iona, but I, in some sense I am because I think it'll make our team better. But, you know, they're better than last year. If you guys remember, it was a one-point game at the half last year, and we opened it up there in the second half. And when I mean, they played us tough, you know, they've got some of those guys back. They've added some new guys. They've upgraded their roster. They're, they're a better team. So we, um, you know, I thought we had a good day of practice today, though. You know, we, I thought Friday was our best game we played so far. We've, uh, you know, we kind of game Saturday off, went pretty late Sunday. Went pretty hard yesterday and today, and we'll go pretty light tomorrow. Make sure their legs are ready. Uh, play three games in four days, but Jawan's uh, participating in some stuff in practice, so you know he's more likely to play Thursday than he was last Friday. I'd say he's still up in the air, but it's looking better. Uh, you know, I would hopefully by Sunday for sure. But uh, other than that, um, you know. I, well, we've got a lot of games here to play, so I'm sure we'll be talking to you guys uh, quite 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 a bit here over Thanksgiving break. All right, thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and start with Charlie Potter. Hey, Coach, obviously outside of winning games, what are you looking to kind of accomplish down in Orlando in these next three games? Yeah, I think we just got to continue to get better. I thought Friday was the first time we put two halves, both sides of the ball together. So, going to have to do the same thing. We can't pick and choose, you know, whether we're going to be offensive, defensive team. If you want to be an elite team, you got to play both sides of the ball the entire game. So, can we get a 40-minute effort out of everybody? You know, the, the, what, the points emphasis will change game to game. You know, Iona's, Iona's really well balanced, though. You know, they've got a, a really good big, a high major big. They've got three high major transfers. They're playing really well for them. So with them, you know, our guard play is going to have to be great, but we're going to have to guard Joseph well inside. You know, can we move the ball? You know, kind of our basic premise, are we going to play hard? Are we going to play unselfish? Are we going to move the ball? Can we get the right types of shots? And then, you know, take care of the ball too. Iona's going to try to turn us over. But, you know, that, that really we're just looking to get a little bit better each game we're down there. Mike Rodak. He went down to Miami, I think, to, to play golf with uh, Patino. And I think it was in April. No, it wasn't winged foot, but what was that experience like? And did you show off your swing at all to him? Listen, I I was fortunate enough to go to Miami for a for a night and golf with him the next day and come home. He, he was great. Uh, it was me and him and his son and then um, a uh, booster friend that had – was also been long friends with Rick, and uh, I've stayed in touch with him a little bit since then. I mean, he was cordial. It was not Wingfoot. It was Indian Creek. Still a nice golf course. I uh, I hit more sand traps there on one hole than I think maybe entire courses elsewhere. <laughs> but I don't know if I don't know if I'm showing my swing off to anybody. Uh, you'd have to be a pretty terrible golfer for me to be showing my swing off. But I did have fun. We. Uh, uh, Richard and Rick had a little wager going. I, I was not good enough to get involved in their wager, but it was fun to uh, play 18 with them while I was down there. And that that was more fun than coaching against him. So, you know, he does a great job coaching. I, I don't really not looking forward to, to that, but I'm looking forward to our guys having a good chance to get better, though. Uh, go ahead, Nick. Kelly. Yeah, uh, the guys mentioned uh, before that uh, transition defense is something that you guys are working on or needs to improve a little bit. Um, how can you guys go about improving that, or what's kind of the focus there? You know what I thought? Our transition defense was awful against South Coast State. It got better against South Alabama. It was better against Oakland. It's got to continue to get better. You know, if you're going to be a, a quality defensive team like we're trying to be, you know, last, we were, last year we were third in the country. You can't give up layups in transition or open threes or, you know, be jogging back. And I, I thought we were exposed in that South Dakota State game. And we've gotten better ever since. So we're going to have to have three good games of transition D down down in Orlando. You know, our half-court D is going to have to be good. You know, Oakland came in out-rebounding everybody they played. We out-rebounded them fairly significantly. So there was major points emphasis that we made that I thought our guys 
bought into and did well. And they've been good. We've got a really good group. When we're really emphasizing something, they really try to do it. So the transition D, the rebounding, taking care of the ball on offense, those are some major points of emphasis we've been making. Joey Blackwell. <clears throat> hey, Coach. Talk a little bit after the game on Friday about how J.D. looked more comfortable out there. And I'm just curious, how important is J.D. continuing developing and obviously getting more comfortable? How important is that to the team um, over the next couple of games? Yeah, I think it's big. You know, he's super talented. We need him playing aggressive, going downhill, using his athleticism. He's a great passer. I think he makes guys around him better. You know, the biggest areas of improvement with him come on the defensive end. And he's, he's an unbelievable athlete, so he should be a great defender. He's just got to continue to study, and he's doing that. He's studying hard. He's just, you know, it's like a typical freshman. The defensive end doesn't always come as natural, and they've never been pushed quite as hard as they're going to be pushed here. But we need him playing well. He's one of our more talented guys that makes our team better. He makes the players around him better when he's in there. Okay, we got two more questions asked, so we'll finish with these two. Let's start with uh, Tony Sukalis first. Yeah, Coach, uh, Charles has eight blocks in his last two games. Just what have you seen from him in improving in, the, in that defense? And then how big is that uh, in the event that Gary is still out? Yeah, I think it's huge. You know, Jawan's one of our better defenders. It was kind of Jawan, Keon Ellis, Charles. I think having Charles protect you at the rim, you know, makes up for a lot of mistakes. You know, Juwan was also able to do that. You know, he reacts so quickly to plays, and he's so athletic, big and strong. So, you know, whether Juwan's in or out, having Charles in to anchor our defense is huge. But it's, it is even more important with uh, Juwan being out. So, you know, if you can get Charles, Juwan, Keon Ellis, those three on the floor together with, you know, and Shaq's become a really good defender now too. Uh, you know, couldn't say that his freshman year. That kind of shows you, you know, how guys are able to improve. I mean, he's one of our better perimeter defenders. He's one of the better ones in the league, in my opinion. You know, he cuts guys off. He gets in front. He doesn't get beat off, and he takes charges. But we've got we've got a good group of quality defenders that have shown that they're capable of being a great defensive team, and Charles is right at the top of that list along with Juwan. All right, last question, uh, Charlie Potter. I know you guys have you know, played multiple games over the course of multiple days before, but this early in the season, just what are the challenges of three games in four days? You know, you got to be smart with playing enough guys, but you don't want to look past day one to get to day two. You have to win Thursday, or you have to go all in to win Thursday. But at the same time, if you've got a chance to – you know, deepen your rotation a little bit, play a few more guys that are playing well. You know, I think it's smart to do that. I, I think it's also smart to make sure your practices going in, you know, were good. Like we, we gave them Saturday off. We had the option to go Sunday. We, we really just came in, cleaned up video and shot Sunday. So we really didn't practice. So we, I didn't want to practice them Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, four days in a row, and then play three out of four. So we – Pretty much game Sunday off. We went hard Monday, Tuesday. We'll back it way off tomorrow, and then hopefully have fresh legs for those three games on Thursday, Friday, Sunday. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.